Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I want to talk to us today about when Jesus gives a Bible study. This had to be cool. The risen Christ, you know, he's amongst his disciples, being seen of people, many infallible proofs, seen above 500 at once. And let's look at Luke 24, because it really goes into this about when Jesus gives people a Bible study. So first, the scripture we'll look at is 2427 of Luke, and it says, in beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. Now, like Peter ends, he claims to be an evangelical, even though he is fired from Westminster. And some of his beliefs have even crept in among apostolics and Pentecostals. Because I, I was reading an apostolic publication not too long ago, and it talked about incarnational inspiration, which is a Peter ends term. And so Peter ends says, I don't know of a single scripture in the Old Testament that refers to Jesus. Well, you're making Jesus a liar because it says, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, talking about Jesus, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So could you imagine being those two guys on the road to Emmaus and Jesus begins to point out every single scripture that referred to him? Like when he talks about being the prophet in Deuteronomy 18, I mean, it's talking about pretty much speaking the words of God, being God there. If you read it in the long context of it, it's like, whoa, it's pretty intense. You know, Isaiah 53, they call it the forbidden scripture amongst certain segments and, and all of this. So that is fascinating. All the scriptures, Jesus said, here I am, you know, here I am in the Garden of Eden, maybe, with uh, Adam and Eve. Just amazing. And so then we'll go to uh, verse 32, and it says, And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us, by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? Opened the scriptures to us. So Jesus, being the word of God incarnate, God incarnate, he um, was able to do this. He opened the word of God to them. So that's just fascinating. And so, you know, Christianity is built upon scripture, upon this impregnable rock of scripture. So you, I think that was Gladstone that called it that. So you need the prime minister of England. So you need to really stick with the word of God. And then we're going to go to verse 45, verse 45. Um, well, let's, and we'll start with verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Notice he doesn't say apocrypha. This is one of the reasons we have the scriptures in the Bible that we have, the Old Testament, because this is what Jesus put his sanction on. So the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So Psalm 22, you know, all of these Psalms, uh, Psalm 45 about Messiah. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them, thus it is written and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. So he saying the scripture teaches this and he opened their minds he opened the scriptures to them so when people try to say peter messed up on the day of pentecost by saying repent be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for their admission of sins you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost no they had just had a bible study with the master and he opened their hearts and minds i think that's so fantastic now the holy ghost the paraclete the comforter the one who comes alongside lives within he'll still open your eyes my eyes to scripture when he deprived when we read the word, God, open thou mine eyes that I can behold wonderful things out of thy law. God is so good to us. So Jesus taught a Bible study and uh, multiple Bible studies. And so scripture is our foundation. Never get away from scripture. Talk with you later. God bless you.